Yo, what's up boys? Welcome back to yet another video and in this video that is right We have another tournament so as you know I cover all of these tournaments and in this video We will be covering this tournament right here called stage zero So I will cover every single thing you need to know including how and if you can play this the dates the prizes the platforms are basically every single thing you need to know. But before we do jump in this video, if you could really quick drop a like, that would be absolutely phenomenal. And also subscribe if you haven't already with notifications on. And one last thing boys, if you could follow my Twitter, which is autoclickyt, I would appreciate it so much and it's also in the description. We are at 101 followers, thank you all so much who did follow, but if you haven't followed yet, well go ahead and follow. But after you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and follow my Twitter, let's jump into this video. Alright, so as I said, there is a new tournament if you go to your compete tab and scroll all the way here. So let's go over the event details and every single thing you need to know. So the first thing we see is that this is duos. And now the second thing that you will see is that these characters are not English. And this is actually Japanese. So that's right, this tournament is in Japan or I guess in the Asia region. So you know, as always, I'm not gonna waste your guys' time. And I'm just gonna tell you straight away that this is for Asia region only. Whoa guys, but before you leave, make sure to smash the like button. I would appreciate it a lot. But of course, if you're not Asia and you still want to play this, well, you can as long as you did register. So as for the dates, we can see that this is on the 22nd and also on the 23rd. And now if we click on event details, well, there's no way I can read this. So what I have to do is get my Google Translate out and then hopefully try to understand this. Alright boys, if any of you are Japanese in the comments, well then please translate this for me. Or I guess tell me if I translated it correctly because this is very sketchy. Oh, and by the way, Google Translate is not good at all. The translation is terrible, but let's just try to understand this. So this says, High School Esports Festival Stage 0 will be held on August 22nd and 23rd. Alright, so the 22nd and the 23rd date is the opens, I guess, or the qualifiers. And then on the 19th of next month is gonna be the finals. So top 45 teams qualify for those finals. Now I think it's 45 teams from this and also from this, I'm not quite sure. But it's probably gonna be like that. So it's gonna be 90 teams or I guess 180 players. And then it goes on to say that top 1,400 teams in a specific high school are gonna compete for who's the best. And then they give us a website to go to for more specific details. Now if I do look up stage zero Fortnite official rules, uh, nothing really comes up. So I'm not sure where to go, but I did found this website right here. And it might be it, honestly. So this basically describes what Fortnite is, blah, 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 World Cup, doesn't matter, we all know that. <laughs> and look how they spelled Fortnite. Now, to be fair, I did translate this website to English, so this was originally in Japanese. But it's just funny how it translates. And of course, this is gonna be grammatically incorrect because this is a translation. But here is the prize. It says, invite the tournament winning team to a special match with professionals and renowned distributors. We plan to prepare a program that incorporates exchanges with professional players and famous streamers and commemorative matches. So what I'm getting from this is that if you do qualify, you'll be invited to a stage where there's gonna be plenty of pros and pro streamers. So this is a pretty amazing opportunity for the Asia region. So in a way, I'm seeing this as a World Cup, but from Japan, which is pretty sick to see, honestly. All right, so how do you play this, right? And it looks like you did have to apply for this previously. So if you haven't applied or signed up, I don't think you can anymore because it says that entry acceptance has ended. But if we go over here, we can see the entry form. So let's click and see what this is. Hopefully this doesn't hack me or anything like that. But okay, well, <laughs> I don't know what this says, boys. Ah, uh, yikes. But all right, so as we can see, looks like it's split into PC lobbies and then PS4, Switch and Xbox One. So I guess there's two different lobbies. And I mean, if you can understand Japanese, well then you can go to this website right here and then just read it for yourself and maybe even tell me what this means. Because I mean, this definitely looks like the official rules, but of course just in Japanese. And now we have another link. So let's see what this is super quick and let's go over the format and all that. And again, I have no clue what this is, but okay, let's say you did register. 
So the next step is of course to play those qualifiers that I showed you which are going to be on August 22nd and August 23rd. And then step three is to play in the final competition, of course, if you do qualify. And I'm pretty sure you do have to go to a stage actually. So I'm not sure how it's going to work because of this crazy virus, but I guess this will be held on stage. All right, so this right here gives us some clarifications about how many teams will qualify. So it says that top 23 teams in day one and then top 22 teams in day two will qualify to finals. So it is not 90 teams and 180 players, but it is 45 teams and 90 players. So basically top 23 teams in day one and then top 22 teams in day two. And then the final competition, as I said, is gonna be on Saturday, September 19th, 2020. And now if we go down here, we can see some rules and requirements of how to compete in this. So first it says that your guardian or your parents must approve that you want to participate in this tournament. And then it goes on to say that you cannot apply twice or I guess more than once. Only one person, one game title, and one team can participate. And talking about teams, as we said, it is duos. So it will be a team competition of two people while attending the same high school. And it says that you will be required to upload a photo or photocopy of your student ID for all team members and upload a certificate of enrollment using their entry form. So this does look like it's for a specific high school, which is super odd, but okay. It doesn't even tell which high school though. But yeah, then it says that you have to have the same Epic account name, um, check the rules, and then of course your account level must be 15 or higher. And that goes for all of the tournaments, not just this one. Okay, now let's go over the format. And I mean, it is the weirdest thing I've seen in my life. Like I'm not even joking, look at this guys. Each elimination gives you one point and then top 15 gets you three points, top 10 gives you two points and then top five gets you two points and a win gets you three points. Now guys, what is this format? You get like no points, this is awful. It's like Epic just sat down, clicked like a few numbers and it's basically, okay, we're done. Like what is this guys? This is so bad. Oh my God, hello free Fortnite? No, I mean sure, yeah. But anyways, this format is just super weak and personally, I do not like it at all. Like there's just not enough placement points. I don't know guys, this is a weird tournament and honestly, it came out of nowhere. I never knew this was happening. But yeah boys, tell me if you knew that this tournament was going on and if you did apply for this. I doubt that anyone did apply. But hey, if you did, well, good luck playing this. Oh, and one last thing, if we go to Fortnite Tracker, we can see that there's 10 games which you can play over of course three hours and for the prize pool it says nothing but i mean you do get to meet pros and whatnot so i guess that's a good enough prize pool and there's probably a prize pool within the stage so i don't know guys this is the weirdest tournament i've come across but yeah that's basically all of the information you need to know and if you haven't seen this video right here about the raise the cup video so go check it out if you haven't already but yeah boys that's all of the information you need to know about that stage zero tournament so if you did enjoy the video well make sure to leave a like and subscribe with notifications on and then of course follow my twitter down below but that is gonna be the end of this video peace out